2020 has been a challenging year. Many of us are struggling to cope with isolation and anxiety due to the pandemic lockdown. News 8's Tim Blodgett tells us what we can do to fight pandemic fatigue. California has been under a stay at home order since March 19th. That's 224 days. And speaking personally, it's felt like an eternity. And with everything that's going on in the world and with decreased amount of time we're spending with the people that love us, it's really put a strain on our mental health. I found myself crying and, you know, I'm a tough person. Why is this happening, you know? And In the early stages of the lockdown, Linda Jackson thought it would be a good time to focus on herself. It was time to stop and smell the roses, you know, right at home and, and work on hobbies that I'd love to do. But as the months continue to grind on with no end in sight, Jackson, who has some underlying medical conditions and is a social person by nature, began to feel the effects of isolation. I'm so social and, and that's kind of like an outlet for me is, is playing my sports and being around people. And so this whole thing is just really, you know, put a damper on that for me. Jackson is not alone. A study conducted by the CDC in June says that 31% of adults reported struggling with stress and anxiety due to the pandemic. People only have so much resilience, you know, there's that extra straw that breaks the camel's back. Psychiatrist Dr. Michael Larden says the theory of learned hopelessness drives people into depression during times of great anxiety like these. We, we get up, we're ready to go, we think we're going to get better, we think we're going to be on the other side, then we're not. With no end in sight until a vaccine is developed, Dr. Larden suggests frequent exercise, avoidance of drugs and alcohol, and keeping in touch with loved ones virtually to stave off depression. But for now, those of us feeling like Linda will just have to wait and see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's the hard thing, is, is not knowing where the corner is going to turn with this. Tim Blodgett, News 8.